Welcome to Civil Engineering Online. Subject for today's video is Design of Pre-Stressed Concrete Structures. Module 4 Design of Sections for Shear. Topic under this module is Shear and Principal Stressors. Here I am Ravi B. Tilaganchi for the further video. Let us see. Shear and Principal Stressors. The shear distribution in an uncracked structural concrete member for which the deformation is assumed to be linear is a function of the shear force and the properties of the cross section of the member. The shear stress at a point is expressed as tau V is equals to Vs upon Ib. V is the shear force and I is the moment of inertia. B is the breadth of the particular member. Tau V is the shear stress of the member what we are going to get it. Where Tau V is shearing stress due to transverse load. V is shearing force. S is statical moment, first moment of area. We are going to take only this part of area of the statical moment. I, second moment of area of section about its centered, also known as moment of inertia. B, breadth of the section at a given point. Either it may be a rectangular section or it may be a flange section or it may be a web section. The effect of this shear stress is to induce principal tensile stresses on diagonal planes. So, in the pre-stressed concrete member, the shear stress is generally accompanied by a direct stress in the axial direction of the member. If transverse vertical pre-stressing is adopted, compressive stresses in the direction perpendicular to the axis of the member will be present in addition to actual pre-stress. So this sentence says that if we provide generally the stirrups, so these stirrups are going to restrain the vertical shearing of the concrete. So as we have seen it in the RCC members, also we are going to see them in the PSC members. The most general case of an element subject to a two dimensional shear stress system as shown in the figure. So this is the principal tensile stresses in a pre-stressed member. So here is the support reaction acting and here is the load acting. When these two are acting at the end junction, if we take a small element, this will have a diagonal force which is going to act. So this diagonal line will have to have the forces. So when the members are having a forces compressing a particular element at this time, the element from the side, it will have the shear stress. So these are tau V as shear stress. This tau V on the left of the element and top of the element will try to move the element in upward direction and the tau V, the shear stress which is at the bottom and which is at the right of the element will try to move in the downward direction which will increase this part of the diagonal tension which is nothing but the shear stress minimum or we call it as principal tensile stress. So this is the principal tensile stress how much it is acting in the member we need to determine. The maximum and minimum principal stresses developed are given by F max or minimum we are able to find out. So F x, F in x direction force acting in x direction, F y force acting in y direction divided by 2 plus or minus half of square root of F x minus F y whole square plus 4 times tau v square. So this formula is nowhere uh, new to us. This is a similar one from which we have studied from our previous two subjects which we can able to recall such as strength of materials in the principal stresses topic and in the geotechnical subject wherein this also related to the principal stresses and tensile stresses of the soil element. For that condition also we have studied the same formula. So same thing we are going to apply for the PSC member also where fx and fy are the direct stresses and tau v is the shear stress acting at the point. So direct stresses is nothing but the force which is acting on that particular element that we are going to consider force upon area as direct stresses.
in pre stressor concrete members the direct stresses fx and fy being compressive the magnitude of the principal tensile stress is considerably reduced and in some cases even eliminated so that under working loads both major and minor principal stresses are compressive thereby eliminating the risk of diagonal tension cracks in concrete in general there are three ways of improving the shear resistance of structural concrete members by pre stressing techniques so first one we can apply this technique as horizontal or axial pre stressing pre stressing by inclined or sloping cables vertical or transverse pre stressing so these three kinds of pre stressing can be considered for psc member to make it a resistance of shear stress and principal stresses and principal tensile stresses which are going to make the section weaker we can strengthen that section by using the three techniques hope you all have understood the topic see you in the next topic with ultimate shear resistance of psc members thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thank you so much